Hi, Sainam. Hi, Ari. Yeah, yeah, I got your profile from HR. So, say, okay. you're looking for a job change, right? You know, you know that yeah. HR conveyed you the uh, requirement. We are seeking for the candidate who can work on AWS services on L2 level. All right. Okay, yeah. Right. Uh, I got your profile already. Anyway, still, you just uh, tell me uh, about yourself and uh, uh, services, which are the services you have exposure, what is your background, experience, everything based on that. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah I am uh, Zainul Abidin. I am having around 15 plus experience. Presently working for a hybrid cloud technology in our DXA, DXA uh, company. And my day to day responsibility, like a uh, uh, SOPS admin. Uh, as well as I'm doing project work also. The, I'm having a uh, most experience in the IIS related infrastructure as a service, like uh, creating a instance, uh, um, managing the instance, disk extending, creating the disks, uh, and uh, apart from the taking a snapshot and restoring the virtual machine. Apart from that, I'm having experience in the IAM, identity and access management, like uh, creating the users and applying the policies uh, customized policies also as per the customer requirement as per the uh, the design given by the architect senior architect and then also i am having experience in vpc also creating a, a virtual networks and the peering subnetting and the route 53 configuration okay and then network acl also i am having experience and then security also like um, if uh, according to the customer requirement and then design we can uh, implementing that uh, and as well as having experience on route 53 also like uh, creating the um, creating the zones and configuring zones and uh, failure policy also apart from that like experiencing cloud front cloud trail this uh, is related all the services i'm having experience on that Yeah, thank you. That's really good, Sainul. Uh, you know, that gives me more clarity that uh, the area whichever you are uh, worked on. Okay, fine. I'll start from some basic question. Okay, based on your yeah. input, right? I'll I'll increase the you know uh, strength of the questions. Okay. Yeah. So you you said like you have exposure with VPC, EC2 everywhere. So the you you yeah. are aware. Uh, what is the difference between security group and ACL? And what scenario you will prefer to go with security group and what scenario you will prefer to go with ACL? Okay. Security group, we will, uh, the security group and uh, ACL, the security is we uh, configure on a instance level. Okay. And then security groups, we have two policies like uh, inbound and outbound. Okay. We can, according to that um, rules, we can apply the policy in the ACL. ACL we have the policy like uh, we can configure it to inbound also as well as outbound also and we can configure a subnet level okay fine, okay. fine. all right that's good that's good really so since you said right uh, you worked on IAM and all in AWS so yeah. what scenario you have created a customized IAM policy yeah of course we know AWS providing uh, default uh, IAM policies almost all the policies are should be there in some case yeah we need to create our own customized policy right in what scenario you created a customized policy yeah suppose uh, some uh, users we need to give the particular only one uh, service we need to give the access for the particular one only one service in that also we need to filter is like you only give the read like uh, you only create the ec two instance you cannot delete it or like this only we will give the policy also some scenarios like uh, users need to access to the particular region only not all the regions that is also that case also will go to the customized policy perfect perfect answer thank you Sainal. so uh, since you are telling these are the scenario you created a customized policy uh, what is your understanding aws providing multiple way to generate a customized iam policy which are the two yeah. which are the interface you familiarized with uh, among them uh, like a, there's a uh, there's a one uh, website also is there uh, you there we can go to the we can create the customized policy also or we can the json we can also create a policy in our own policy we can con customize it according to our requirement all right that's good yeah fine so these are areas you are generating a policy that's perfect yeah all right so could you tell me about your iam structure like um, uh, how your initial time of period your iam uh, uh, authentication structure has been defined who has most higher privilege 
who has lesser privilege at your current project how you are managing your iam uh i am will create as per the uh, groups like uh, we'll create the groups like um, l1 group and l2 group as well as architect group also l3 group also if sup- suppose somebody having a storage uh, they will do only storage related work we'll configure we create as a storage group according to that we will create as a customized policy will what access is required to that groups we will give, we'll add to that user to that particular group according to that they will get the access like l1 having the only just view access like uh, all the ec2 instance they can view it uh, cloud trail they can go and they can check the what is that event is generated uh, according to that uh, particular job resp- roles and responsibility we are giving the uh, we are created the group and we will add to that user to the that particular group suppose the developer having a, we have creating the they will give the cli access also uh, we will we'll create that group also for that okay so what do you mean by mfa in i mfa mfa is a multi factor authentication uh, suppose we want to go with a two factor authentication suppose uh, after logging to the users uh, we need to give that uh, they need to go to the mobile they need to uh, approve that uh, multi factor authentication or they need to give the key or uh, this uh, numbers then then that there is a two way authentication so suppose if some uh, first, first user authentication is get compromised maybe that uh, secondary this multi factor authentication should not be get compromised with that so that is when we will go with the multi factor authentication all right that's good yeah so you are got an iam so let me ask you some questions on s3 so s3 okay. we well known all of us uh, s3 providing two uh, way of creating bucket one is in public another one is private Right. so can you tell me what is the difference between private bucket and public bucket and which one is more secure and which is recommended by aws uh public bucket means the, uh, we can access through the url okay and suppose if somebody want to access from the outside of the internet within not in the uh, within the cloud or they want to access from the outside so in that case we will go with a public bucket internal bucket they will can access with the only within that uh, amazon ec2 instance whichever the instance is they are the within like a within the on premises in the if you tell in the, our the real environment but in the cloud we will tell is within the aws they can access it but uh, in that case we will go to the endpoints so, um, in, within the endpoint they can access to that uh, without internet they can access to that um, uh, private uh, private s3 buckets the most secure is the private bucket only okay that's really good actually yeah so sino will just imagine i'll tell you one scenario okay i'm having i'm having on client okay the client they are more and more you know uh, focus on uh, storing their data in amazon s3 okay, okay. you are a cloud architect and now you are going to suggest them which is the most cost effective way they are they are simply they don't have any idea they are planning to upload all the da- all their data on premises data into s3 so as a cloud architect uh, you have to be in the position to suggest them the basic and cheap uh, uh, casting experience so what okay, kind of just, area you can suggest yeah, first first uh, after the first just i wanted to understand the requirement how frequently they are accessing the data how fr- how after the how many days they are uh, they are going to with archive and according to that scenario we can go with the they have the life cycle policies in the s3 so the very cheaper is the glacier uh, we, it will go with uh, after 13 30 days they are not accessing in that case that will go to the uh, glacier so that is a very cheap cheap way so we can tell that excellent it, okay. even that is a we having a, a retention period also with one year or three years or 10 years still i think five years we can we can keep the data according to that is customized we can configure it okay fine fine so in what case you will recommend to go with your customer using elastic ip elastic ip suppose uh, they having a one website they want to access the website they want to configure a particular uh, url in that case we can go with the elastic ip address or we in the load balancer case also we can configure the elastic ip address so that ip address should not get changed uh, whichever the sub- binding with that particular website okay fine so can you tell me the difference between snapshot and ami yeah with uh, ami amazon uh, um, machine image with amazon machine image we can create a multiple instance but the snapshot particular the only snapshot with a snapshot we can restore that particular disk 
but the ME we can create the entire virtual entire instance with the same instance we can copy it like a like a duplicate copying this virtual machine okay fine so sino i'll tell you one more scenario okay i have a customer they are having almost you know 20 to 30 different aws account i'm not talking about iam user i'm talking about the individual aws account out of 30 okay. accounts then 10 of accounts are they are using for production 10 account they are using for sandbox 10 account they are using for uat uh, they okay. are in a confusion uh, how they are going to centrally manage all those accounts and how they are going to restrict them uh, using some standardization policies do you have any solution okay. for them and how you will implement in the position of cloud architect suggest them yeah. how can we optimize this 30 dedicated aws account to uh, bring it into a centralized environment can you tell me a to yeah. Z? yeah yeah the aws king a feature called uh, aws organization unit to to that organization unit concept we can achieve this one we'll uh, whatever the home uh, we will make one is a root account like a master account remaining we will uh, will create the organization unit in that uh, uh, aws organization unit in the console uh, according to that uh, whatever this we should will create the organization to according to the their roles and responsibility and then we will we will move that account to that OU and we will customize the policy in that OU. okay so say for an example uh, i am owning one aws account okay you are created a master account i added my account under your master so okay. now right that is a problem uh, what that is a loop back right if I feel any time from my account, I can click on leave organization button. So anytime I can get out from the organization, right? So what yeah. is going to secure it? Uh, there is a, one option is there. Uh, there we can we can configure it. Just uh, we can create one. Sorry, we can create one policy. We can attach policy to that uh, account uh, uh, organization it so that uh, any other person uh, other account can should not be uh, get uh, exist from the uh, my account okay fine that's good really so what what is the best way you can suggest when there is a 20 30 aws accounts are there how we can uh, manage the billing how we can optimize the bill is there any way centralized place where you can see yeah creating organization we can manage the bills we can master account should having the will get the bill for remaining account they can use uh, according to their requirement okay fine so in your organization how are you managing the logs in the current project uh aws log aws events uh mm -hmm. the cloud trail we will manage it too. we'll check that uh, mm -hmm. which are the things cloud trail okay all right all right fine 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 even uh, we will having the uh what is that third party tool also mm -hmm. um flex uh, what is that uh, i forget the name through that only we have windows log will um, manage with uh, flexra uh -huh. flexra software mm -hmm. and then uh, one more tool is there to uh the server slots also generating yeah i forgot the name yeah. okay i know it's not an issue so can you tell me like um i have a, a two aws account one is production account another one is sandbox account okay uh okay. my client asked me to do a poc yeah even you can take you as an example you are a person who are, you are the architect you do, you did a poc on the sandbox account okay so the application working as expected now my client want to migrate this ec2 instance from my sandbox aws account to production aws account what are the easiest yeah. way you can suggest yeah we'll create the ami and from the ami we will uh, we can move to the different account or different aws account or different region also very good very good that's perfect correct answer yeah all right so coming back to the you know uh, networking can you tell me your end-to-end yeah. -end infrastructure and network perspective and uh, overall network architecture and let's see how we are yeah. understood the, uh, each and every yeah uh, we have around three environment like a production development and testing uh, we have three vpc according to that uh, production development in that uh, we created the subnet okay we have multiple subnet in that uh, production environment as well as the development and then uh, uh, in the switch uh, development environment we created a separate but the production and testing environment we have a pairing so that uh, sometime the users want to access any data any resource from the um, production to test we created the pairing to that uh, two account and this is this is what we configure the vpc okay. and then we having the security group and uh, acl also we implemented we according to that requirement uh, we customize our requirement and then we filter the some uh, 
some subnets in the acl also as well as in the security group also oh okay fine so can you tell me like uh, in my client environment right i have almost you know uh, my client are using three region one is us region us west frankfurt region mumbai region so they are very okay. much frustrated in uh, making a peering connection if any issues comes also it's very difficult for me to troubleshoot it uh, to optimize yeah. all the peering connection you, you you would suggest any alternate way which uh, yeah, just, uh, nice. now aws yeah aws giving a good features so like a transist gateway using the transist gateway we can achieve this there is a very easy way also there's a not that much like a cid overlapping that and all we won't get any issues so this is a good uh aws providing this for services the, the transit gateway we can do it okay that's perfect yeah so uh, coming to the load balancing concept coming to auto scaling concepts and all how you yeah. implemented those features in your project are you using it in your environment yeah we are using the application load balancer okay we have uh, created the uh, load balancer with application group and we are implemented it okay, okay. so you know, uh, have you ever uh, experienced in uh, auto scaling yeah auto scaling also we are attached both the both even load balancer as well as auto scale auto scaling group both the both the things we are using like uh auto scaling we will automize the uh, like a low there is a any um we have the horizontal and vertical auto scaling will be there if any server is going down then automatically there will be uh, so instead will be get launched to the auto scaling a load balancer just will really load the balancer like uh, they want to go, go to that particular url suppose user is accessing the url they want to go to the other uh, having a multiple instance according to their we are customized the target group also according to the the requirement the request will go to the particular instance but but we are using a both uh, load balancer as well as the uh, uh, the auto scaling Mm-hmm. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So, on Sinul, uh, there is one more scenario. I'll tell you. Try to understand. My client has very critical okay. application. Uh, like they are, you know, uh, their production environment is their business running application. Very, very important. They want uh, you to uh, set up some alert when it is reaches eighty uh, percentage of utilization. Right. You need to trigger yeah. the alert to the respective, you know, uh, L one team or L two team, someone. So what yeah. what is the easiest approach, cost effective approach you can suggest in order to implement this? Yeah, one thing is that we can configure the cloud trail. Cloud trail also will get the logs and we will get the event. Through the SNS also we can create the SNS topics and then if anything is going on before that 80, um, above 80% is utilizing this instance, that will get the alert through the inst- uh, uh, SNS. SNS. Okay. Simple notification service will get it okay okay perfect that's that's good actually so coming to encryption okay what type of encryption you are using in your environment what are the resources you use to encrypt in your uh, account uh, encryption like a uh, we particular with some critical production service are there for that their disk we are encrypting mm-hmm. uh, this one and then uh, in the storage also we are the particular buckets also we are doing the encryption Mm-hmm. There's a we can get the two type encryption like a AWS also providing the default encryption. Mm-hmm. Even we can we can create our own encryption key also. Okay. But Which we are is... using the AWS AWS one okay. manage AWS manage encryption algorithm. All right, all right. That's even good. No issues. Fine, Zainul. So by the way, I came to know you have a very good exposure with IAM, uh, S3, EC2, VPCs, load balancer, yeah. scaling, and uh, organization service. Even you have idea. That's really good actually. Mm-hmm. So thank you, Sainal. Um, good talk. Thank, thanks. Thanks. Well, well, thanks. Yeah. Back to HR. Okay. Thank you, Sainal. Sure. Sure. Appreciate for your time. Thank you.